daughter of the president of Eurotrek, she's here to give us one last chance. And Robert, don't open your mouth, please. Don't say anything about engineering studies. I'm, I'm begging you, Robert. And Eurotrek will be having a new liaison that will be checking up with you. And this man is my new friend, Robert. Oh, oh my God. If he does not like our recycling program. He has the authority to cancel the contract with our company. Marcel. Okay, let's go pack up your bag. Tell me that you just got it. All right, things are back to normal around here. We got the Eurotrex contract back. Communitron is back in business. We're running full steam ahead. And uh, right. it's all thanks to the City of Ventura Environmental Services Office because they set us up with an outstanding recycling program. I can't believe they come out and they do a free assessment of your business and they help you set up a recycling program. I don't understand why more businesses don't take care of that. But here's the real reason I called this meeting. I've been digging through your uh, recycling containers. And you know the kind of contaminants I've been finding? I've been finding styrofoam. And styrofoam is not going to the recycling container, okay? This, I mean, do, do I have to, right, you know, will this, will this help make it easier to know that I found these in the recycling container? Do I have to do that? I decided I needed to do some quality control on the recycling program, so I decided to spend the morning going through the recyclable containers, and I could not believe the contaminants, the junk I found in those recycling containers. Bags, this, this does not go in the recycling. All right? I found this in your recycling container, Rick. Styrofoam. Styrofoam is not recyclable. Styrofoam is a contaminant. I found this in the recycling container. I mean, this sure was mine. And I admit, I, I kind of lost it, but but hey, I deserve to lose it. I deserve to, to, to get angry about this styrofoam. Is it that hard to understand what, what, what to throw in the recycle bin? I don't understand what the confusion is about it. Is it that hard to, to, to tear the, the, the plastic off and then throw this? See, this is recyclable, but this isn't. Is it that hard to, to separate it? Here, Rick, let's see you try it. Can you, can you pull that apart? All right? You, you, you tear the film plastic. Yeah, he's gonna, he lost it there. He gets really upset. Yeah, you know, it kind of scares me. You know, I, whew, boy, he can get really, really mad and upset. Of course you wouldn't be. No, of course you wouldn't make it hard to do. I bet you Mary could do it. Mary, you know, show, show how easy it is to recycle that. See, see how simple that is. You know, he did step over the line a little, a lot, but uh, you know, I think he got the point across. Oh, look how hard it is to separate it. Okay, look at this here. Now, see, this goes in the trash, and this goes in the recycle bin. All right. Styrofoam packing pieces? These don't go in the recycle bin. First of all, these should these should be reused. This does not go in the recycle. He needs some serious anger management. He's got to get some counseling. Uh, he was getting almost violent to the point where I was afraid somebody's going to call security. I can't believe people are throwing this stuff in the recycling container. Oh, <coughs> I'm out of. After I had the outburst, I. I I did feel bad about it. I should be more in control of my uh, my emotions, and uh, I went out and got something to drink, a little fruit juice to help calm me. Uh, uh, I have some things I want to show you. That that uh, yeah, what a mess. <coughs> um, we, there's also some positive things that 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 are being created by the uh, and given to us by the um, environmental services office. Like this is a new, this is car, this is a brand new idea where a cardboard box is shredded and this is like the new packing material. There's also... Um, well, I like that cardboard thing, you know. I, so this, I could maybe make a vest out of it, you know. 
That'd be pretty good. Put that cardboard. That'd be a recycle king then around the yard. They're, they're pieces that um, are made out of cornstarch, so they're no longer even the styrofoam kind. It's the cornstarch, but it looks like um, styrofoam. And then all those these great glasses. They're cups that um, that they're reusable. They're biodegradable, compostable. So you know, these are some positive things. I, you know, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. You know, when you're a manager, sometimes you have a lot of pressures on you. And sometimes, you know, we have more pressures than most other people have on us. And sometimes you just lose it. All right, um, we, we only got another five minutes left for this meeting. And, uh, Robert here, as you all know, uh, is now working for uh, um, Eurotrex. And, and Robert's gone away for a two-week training with, uh, with uh, Eurotrex on uh, best environmental practices. And That's right. And uh, first thing we would like to bring back, bring our uh, senior... Uh, Communitron uh, management uh, to France to study best recycling practices which we have implemented at Eurotrek. So I would like Ray, Rick and Marion on a, uh, to accompany me on an all expenses covered trip to France. Be looking forward to that. Yeah, we're going to France! That is so awesome! Um, I can't wait. That's going to be fabulous. So uh, my company will be setting up the travel arrangements and they'll let you know uh, as far as ticketing and everything like that. They'll be flying first class of gourmet meals and some very fine old uh, Napoleon and Rothschild brandy and uh, they're going to enjoy the French trip. Uh, do they have styrofoam in France? Uh, they do not have styrofoam in France. Styrofoam is a felony in France. Uh, please, uh, you know, uh, wait until you hear from us about travel arrangements. Thank you. Let's get back to work. But, you know, I thought that was very nice of him to invite us. Well, I know it wasn't him. It was a company um, that invited us to go to France. I'm, I'm looking forward to the trip on France. I just hope they don't have any styrofoam cups in the, on the plane or in that country. Rick, 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 hold it, hold it. Up. Rick, you're using a styrofoam cup, Rick. Well, you know, get out of the car, Rick. Get out of the car. I mean, how many times have I told you? I thought we had a discussion. I gave you the mug. Where's the mug I gave you to use? Look, let's see. Let's go. I've used a mug like this for five oh. years and I've never broken it. What have you done? Look at all the styrofoam well, cups everywhere. You know what? You know what? I've, I've, I've tried to use that can. Now, this is my own car. I can use any kind of cup I want. Styrofoam boots the environment. Look, look. I've said this like 50 Black times. Berry, but yeah, yeah, how many times have I? Look, this don't break. This is my own car. I've got my own time. Look, I just came here. Four o'clock this morning. It's time to go home. Remember what happened when you dropped the, uh, the, the styrofoam cups, and you have more in your car. You real? Where do you keep all these? Why do you buy all these styrofoam cups? Why do you have so many? I don't want to throw them away. They last forever. Look, man, that thing's about ten years old. Look, it's still in good shape. See, look, I got a little dent, and look, you, that thing is what? Two weeks old. It broke already. I can even bounce them. All right, Rick. Look. You, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Rick. You, you, you get in your car. You drive on home, Rick. You know what? It's been a real pleasure working with you because you're fired. Fired. Because styrofoam, it doesn't break. And it, you can duct tape it, and and, and you can you, you use it. That's right, Rick. That's it, Rick. Go home, Rick. You're fired. You don't have to come back here anymore. Bye. Ah, no. There's too many restrictions here. They, they recycle this, recycle that. Uh, you can't um, keep styrofoam cups in your office. You, you got to have forms and triplicate. So I just, I think it's about time I probably retired anyway. So I'll just, just move on up and go someplace where they don't recycle. You know, but it's, as good as Ventura does. This villa that um, that we were visiting Robert in was wonderful. It's a French villa and uh, there's grapes around and and talk about uh, exotic location, it was wonderful. Out here, out here at the villa, you know, it just really charges your your uh, your energy up. It just yeah, really charges yeah. your battery. So when you called me on the phone and told me that we were going to be looking at some stormwater pollution practices, I called the City of Ventura Environmental Services Office. Uh -huh. They have offered 
to show some best environmental take practices. Advantage that. Please take water. advantage of that. That's water. outstanding. Yeah, yeah That's so outstanding. Uh, really, you, you should check them out. Speaking of checking out, I think I'm going to check around and look around this beautiful location. Okay, yeah. yeah. excellent. Yeah, 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 All right, yeah, good to yeah, see yeah, you, Robert. Yeah. Oh, why, thank you. Okay. Come. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, Raymond, yeah, we need to talk, uh-huh, about Rick, what happened? Uh, I had to fire Rick. Why? Rick just didn't get it, he continues to use styrofoam, and he stored him used styrofoam in the recycling container, uh, so I had to make a management decision, I had to let Rick go. When I heard that he'd been fired, why, and then when Ray gave me the reason, I said, ah, that's, that's ridiculous, I mean, you know, okay, get rid of the styrofoam, but that's no reason to fire you. Just having styrofoam is not a good enough excuse to hire to fire a man who's been there for what 30 years. He's been a close associate, a close co-worker of mine. We've worked together well on a lot of things. When I've done the engineering and he's done the implementation. Well, just that, uh, when I found out that uh, Rick had been fired, I was quite upset about that, and so I decided I was going to work with Ray to get Rick back on board. We really need to bring Rick back. You know, one of the things is that the chair gives me, you know, the, the ability to hire and fire people, so I had to make a management decision. I had to fire Rick. I, I know, but we, we are your primary client. I think we have the right to have a say on what's going on with your company, and I really think you need to bring Rick back. Robert told me that, uh, that I had to hire Rick back. He did not say it exactly that way, but uh, I understood from his meaning that I had no choice but to hire Rick back. I've talked to Colette on this, and you need to bring Rick back, or you're going to end up losing the uh, Euro Trek. Huh. We need Rick back. We need Rick back doing the good job that he's always done. Okay. As soon as I get back to the home country, I'll, 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 I'll go talk to Rick. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, boy. I think this is the low point of my career. I, I'm forced by circumstances to go back and ask someone who I fired to return to work. I, I don't think it can get any lower than this, but I don't have any other choice. Oh boy, we got our work cut out ahead for uh, cut out for us today. I have to go back and ask Rick for, uh, to take his job back. At the same time, you're going on the stormwater tour with Karen. Yes, yes, got that scheduled. We're gonna all right. do that. Okay, so let after you do your tour, and while I'm Rick, we'll meet back here afterwards. All right? Okay. Okay, Sounds let's good. go. Let's okay. go do it. All right. What I want to show you today is uh, the public works yard on San Juan Road. As you can see, we're in the fueling area right now where the vehicles all come in to get fuel. You can see we have an overhead cover here so that there is no rain that can impact this area and wash any spills or leaks into the storm drains. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Also, uh, if, you, if you want to walk over here, one of the things I'd like to show you is our vehicle maintenance area. As you can see, it's housed in a building here with cover. Uh, yes. This is where we uh, do all of our fleet maintenance. So when you say fleet, you mean like fire engines and absolutely what else is all of the fire department vehicles, all the public works vehicles, oh, yes. and any other vehicle that provides service to the citizens of Ventura. Oh, this is great, Marianne. One of the places I wanted to show you was uh, the roof drains that oh, we have yes. redirected. So what we try to do is redirect these drains into landscaped areas in order oh. to be able to better fil filter that water before it comes to the parking lot and then starts moving across those areas to the storm drains. I see, so when you have the water go directly here, it prevents it from traveling down Absolutely. the road. I had no idea Ventura was so uh, progressive. Well, we try to be uh, progressive in thinking about uh, ways to be able to prevent storm water pollution. It's so, great. I'm so glad you pointed this out to me. I would never have thought of it. Yeah. How you doing, partner? How'd you get in here? This, hey. you're, not, you're not supposed to be coming in here, you know? This is, uh, we got a secret password here. You got How'd you get by the, the password? Well, hey, you know, what are you doing here? here? Hey, uh, what are you doing away well, from Well, come on, Ray, you know, I, we really miss you around the office, man. I, I have a, you know, I feel real bad about that little altercation we had, and uh, 
Mm. You know, you're what we call an intellectual oh, capital. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, take those 350 cases of uh, styrofoam cups down to the modern world. Yeah, yeah. And then we got 350 more coming in for the other store. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, I got I got a lot of stuff going on here. I got a business I'm running. You, you know. got a different chair? I mean, is that's this all it. you got? That's it, you know. Uh, Man, I feel like a... Hey, yeah, listen, I know. Man, Isn't this nice? I'm looking down at you. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can me. I'm looking down at you. Yeah. You got a styrofoam cup business going on? Yeah, this is my best seller. People get up in the morning, they see the sun, they're drinking coffee, and they're going, oh, wow, the sun, man. I couldn't believe it. He's a salesman for styrofoam cups. Uh... I mean, of all the worst things, I've really learned how bad styrofoam is for the environment. It's a, it's a non-renewable material, and he's selling the stuff to people. No, here, look, yeah, no, right. you, don't, you don't have to sell styrofoam cups anymore. You know I, what? I'm even thinking about going to insulation for houses. You know, this stuff, you put them in the walls of the houses, and boy, it cuts the sound down great. I'm going to let bygones be bygones. I'm going <laughs> to let you come back to work. All you got to do is just uh, sign this little contract right here. You get all your benefits back. Um, you get all your retirement, all your, your vacation. Well, you're already retired, but all your vacation, all your sick leave. Just sign here, Rick. We'll, we'll let bygones be gotta, bygones. I'm about partner. <laughs> what the? Um, oh, come on, Rick. You know, this is an just laughing, you know? It was one of the most demeaning experiences having to go in there and beg Rick to take his job back. You know, it's just, uh... Wait, wait a minute. More than you, you could do maintenance again. I mean, maintenance is your thing, right? You, come on, just sign here and you come back. And we'll just forget it. It all happened. No, no, no. More pay, is that what it is? Look, no, look. No, you know, read here, money's right? not everything. I'm going to give you 50% more than what you made before. Mm. And on top of that, I'm going to I'm going to give you an extra um, yeah. hour per week on vacation leave. Hmm. How can you resist that? He's... He's converted this dingy old garage into some kind of an office, and he thinks he's some big styrofoam executive now. Yeah, I don't believe that. I think really he wanted wants his job back. I think he was just playing games with me. I, I mean, selling styrofoam cups, you don't get any benefits, right? Well, I get the benefits of getting the, the public are happy. They Styro love them. No, no, styrofoam cups are made from non-renewable resources. Yeah. This is crude oil. This is stuff right. that. Yeah. It's a waste of it. Yeah. And, and, then, and then here's the other thing. Okay, one of your customers uses a styrofoam cup for what? Three minutes? And then it goes in the landfill forever. I'll tell you what, there's one little thing. I got a son, you know. Yeah. Uh, he's just, uh, you know, he's really a computer expert. He's on uh, level 11 on Doom. That's how great he is. I mean, he knows everything about computers. You know, and he hasn't been able to find a job, you know, so. I, I can yeah, use another know, guy in this communitron. We yeah, can but, use another IT uh, guy. Yeah. But, you know, you, you can hire him and he would make your... I'll, I'll tell you what. Get get let's get your son in here. Let's let's see what he's like, and I'll I'll give him an interview. Hey Matt, Matt, come on in here. I think I might have a good job for you. My ex boss is here. Uh, he wants me to come back. Uh, yeah, I got something lined up for you. Come on in. This is uh, our outdoor storage yard in where we keep all of our raw materials. We have the asphalt materials here, we have some sand and gravel here, we have rock over here. And what we tried to do was come up with an idea for being able to cover this material if in the event of a rain. And so what happens is these tarps are on rollers and we can pull them out and cover these piles and then oh. hopefully be able to keep some of this material from being washed off in the event of a rain. I see. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, I'm so glad you pointed this out. Thank okay. you. Oh, and let's okay. move on to the next area then. All right. Great. And this is where, basically where we take all of our vehicles and our wash rack. There are uh, pollutants that we, we remove from those vehicles and they end up on the ground. They go straight to the storm drain unless you've got an area like this that's set up for specifically washing vehicles. Oh. So what we have is, you can see, this material will all be moved into this solids collection area here, uh -huh. and we have screening devices on the other uh -huh. side. It then moves into another section of the clarifying unit so that um, the greases and oils can be separated from that. And then it's tied into a sewer where wastewater is supposed to go to the sewer system, not to the storm drain system. So right, those right. pollutants... Um, we're keeping out of our storm drain system and uh, we're treating them by putting them in the sewer to go to the wastewater treatment plant. Okay, so um, I think if we move around the corner here, we might be able to check okay. out another area. 
Okay, Marianne, this is um, one of our trash enclosures. And as you can see, what we did is we put a cover over the structure itself okay. because when you have trash, right. the rain comes, it starts washing those pollutants to the nearest storm drain. That could be spilled grease or, you know, if you do any kind of vehicle maintenance, people sometimes throw things into the trash. So this way it keeps all the rain out of there, out of the enclosure itself, and then we don't have that kind of impact on the storm drain itself. Yes, that, that really is a, a very important point. So let's take a walk down over here and we'll see what else we can find. Okay. Hey, there you are. Wow. Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? That's your son? That's it, Matt. He's a computer genius. Okay, I, I'll give you an interview, Matt. All right. Uh, so tell me, what do you know about uh, computers? Can I kind of explain your uh, computer. Well, I mean, to the 10th level of doom. Tell them about all that word and Excel and all that. What's the, uh, what about Pentax? You, uh, you, you ever heard of Pentax? Yeah, or? he's the guy on the 10th level, the boss. It's, it's firing. It's really hard. I beat him. Well, see, he, uh, he's, he, he knows computers, believe me. Now, what else you know there? No, he thinks he's a computer monster. He doesn't even know what I'm talking about. I got an IT guy now. I, I can't hire a guy like that. I mean, we're Communitron. We're, we're a big company. I can't, I can't hire somebody like that. Look, all you gotta do is sign this no, and everything, be, and, no. and you can start work yeah, tomorrow. You know, and your son can do, he can play uh, Doom all day. This isn't gonna work. You know, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, we, all right, Matt, um, yeah. how about Word? You, you, you heard of Word before? Does that make sense to you? It's a, it's a computer, like, uh, like typing? Who? Like typing? Yeah, typing. I don't want to type. Uh, well, um, we're, can you work like uh, a regular work day? What, what time do you usually show up for work? I mean, twelve. Uh, He's like Einstein, you know. These people that got really a lot of smarts up here, you know. So yeah, he'd be he'll be an excellent IT guy. That's, that's the it. only way you will come back is in the if, I, either, if I hire yeah. him, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, Matt. I'd like to welcome you to the new IT director. Of Communitron. Thanks, man. Yeah. Okay, there. Uh, that's it. We're in. All right. You got a job? And, and Rick, yeah. Oh, sure, you know. No styrofoam, okay? No, 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 no styrofoam, no, no, man. No and, uh, All right. Yeah. That's the job. Yeah, man. All right. No more stuff. This dirty old business. Woo. I'll go back to recycling. Yeah. Yeehaw. Rick gave me an ultimatum that the only way he would come back and work for Communitron is if I hired a son. And what could I do? I, I didn't have any choice. Yeah, uh, I think we're gonna, it's gonna be a real fun time there. Yep, we're gonna, we're gonna make that company spin around. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Oh, I think it's great, man. I just sit around playing video games all day. It's gonna be great. I got them just re eating out right up the palm of my hands. I don't have to do anything but play video games. has street sweepers. Well, the street sweepers have a schedule. Yes. Get a copy of the schedule, learn what those days are in your in your neighborhood, and then move your vehicles off the street oh, right, so that right. you know the street sweepers coming through can remove that debris. Yes. So where can somebody get a schedule for, of the street sweeping? Oh, that's simple. They can call City of Ventura Public Works 652-4525 and we'll be glad to send them a schedule. I just learned so much. It's just great. Oh, Anytime, Marion. Come back and see us, and uh, you know, possibly in the future, we'll have some other things to show you. All right, sounds great. All right, okay, you take care. Okay, good. Okay. I love the tour. It was so wonderful, and I learned so much. And I thought I knew a lot. I I learned so much on uh, preventing contaminated water to go into the storm drain. I I think that Marion is enthusiastic, and she really has some good ideas that she can take back to her business and be able to um, employ those there at her particular um, site and be able to make sure that stormwater pollution doesn't occur there. I'm going into Communitron. I'm going to tell them, let's do this, let's do that. I can't wait. I, I sure hope that, that Rick is up for it because there are so many good changes and good ideas that we can do to, to make our business even more environmentally sound. Okay, um, 
thanks to Robert, we've learned a little bit about how we can improve our program, and we are going to be implementing a new stormwater pollution prevention program. The City of Ventura, they've showed a demonstration of how to implement best environmental practices. The City of Ventura does this as a free service. Not only did they set us up with a recycling program, now they are helping to set us up with a stormwater pollution prevention program. They're just great. That's great. Now, welcome back, Rick. Glad to be back. Yeah, I'm got my tools ready, ready to go. But it's good to be back. Yeah, I, I can. Yeah, I'm, I think I get back in this recycling thing here. You know, learn how to recycle. Not, how I gave up that business, styrofoam cup business. Yeah. You might have noticed another face around here. Um, yeah. This is Matt. Uh, Matt is um, our I, uh, informational technology person, and uh, he's uh, kind of a, doing an intern job. Well, this is going to take some time to get used to because right now he's just so much into his headset, he's not really interconnecting with anybody, interfacing with anybody, and so we'll just have to see how it goes. I wouldn't even have thought to listen to headphones. And, and here, here, his first meeting, he's tuned out, he's not paying attention. That's not what I call corporate mentality. And uh, if you have any computer problems, you just call in Matt. And Matt, uh, yeah. would you like to say anything to the group? Huh? Uh, Matt, uh, Hi. Okay, good that's, nice. Uh, that's nice. Matt. Yeah, that's our uh, new IT person. So uh, anyway, welcome back, Rick, and uh, welcome to you, Matt. And uh, let's get cracking on our stormwater pollution prevention program. All right, we got a lot to do. Yeah, man, we, we have a great time. Yeah, he, like I said, he's going to install some games for me on my computer chess and Wolfenstein and uh, Checkmate and uh, Space Space Arama and all that kind of game. But uh, you know, I'm not going to tell anybody about that. I'm just going to use that in my lunch bag. We're really looking forward to moving ahead with our stormwater pollution prevention program. I'm convinced it's a great idea, and I can't wait to see all the exciting programs we do as we implement our new stormwater pollution prevention program.